hello everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today i'll show you how to retouch photo uh, this photo i will increase the eye color and the increase the glow of a skin and the color of the leaves and the other things smooth the face and just uh, deleting or remove the spot from the face okay let's start I'm just uh, taking this file in a photoshop dragging and drop and it's open and making another copy of this layer by pressing ctrl j and after that I'll remove the face spot by the use or by the help of the healing brush tool spot healing brush tool uh, just uh, content over just select these options and make it normal and the brush size 56 pixel hardness 100 percent or you can reduce the hardness and spacing a little bit 21 percent that's good and just select over there it will remove and remove remove and you can also remove this one okay from here i will give the hardness 100 percent and you will get uh, more accuracy about that and just reduce a little bit just here also and okay that's good after that I'll do just uh, use plugin uh, and smooth the skin by the help of the potitude filter and uh, that is the plugin potitude and here and just I'll give you the download and set up link on my video description so don't forget to check it out and from here uh, here is the enhancement options you can uh, add some brightness over there and adjust the tint and warm how warm you want your face you can make this one I'll make it less warm okay here is the sharpness you can add sharpness and smooth you can make it smooth okay and brightness a little bit down that's good this one is the polite or a decent just decent value okay that's good and after that hit the ok button okay i'll got this one but uh, it's a little bit blurry uh, so what should I do? Okay, I'm turning off this one. I'll select the background again and make it another Copy of this layer and turning on the layer. I'm, I'm just smooth Okay, after that mask this one after that inverse mask and This one is the black uh, mask and uh, that's why I'm just resetting this one and making it white taking the brush and select the brush first brush for the brush hardness 0% and make it 168 pixel and you can uh, just control the brush by pressing the third bracket closing and opening okay and just brush over there and check out the opacity and the flow okay just brush in a skin only in a skin not eyes or the lips otherwise it will just reduce the sharpness of your just model face okay okay that's good just applying on the skin only you can remove this one okay you can control the brush by using the third bracket opening and closing if you press the third bracket opening it will small or reduce and third bracket closing for the bigger size okay make it bigger okay this, that's good okay done now we are getting the sharpness on our face our eyes and you are getting the smooth skin also okay and just smooth the area of the side of the eyes okay that's nice after that okay that's good and i will apply over there 
and here also okay that's good the shiny look of our face and then uh, just I'll make it group and make it match and take another layer two layers the one and two okay turning off the two and one now I'll going to uh, just I'm going to apply the touch burn the technique uh, you know how to add that uh, in my previous videos I have given this one and uh, if you want to know more about the dodge one uh, you should check out my video description I'll give that tutorial link in my video description okay turning off the two layer two and now one is on after that make it a skin mode blending mode and go to, going to the blending options and here is a slider you have to find out the highlighted area of the face yes and press the alter button you will divide you can divide this one and adjust the face light with it and hit the ok button after that mask it and go to the image and the apply image and hit the ok button and after that turn on the two layer two and make it multiply and blending options from the blending option this slider you have to just move and get the shadow area press the alt button it will divide and adjust the light shadow with the face and hit the ok button mask this one i'm going to do the image and apply image in this case make it invert and hit the ok button okay after that select two things and make it group make it mask after masking this one image and apply image just uncheck the invert option and hit ok you'll get a decent shadow and highlight in your model face after that take a blank new layer and go to the brush from the brush just reset this one after reset this one make it white or you can take a light blue color which is like that okay that's good this one is good and after that zoom in make the brush size small and just brush over in a white area not in a pimple okay not in a eyeball actually okay. that's good after that you have to go to the blending mode and overlay on the overlay you can manage the opacity okay that's good you'll get a nice eye color and that's good after that you have to do another things in a white area or white uh, portion of eyes take another blank layer go to the brush and take the brush this one and make the brush color white full white because of this portion is white and just brush over there okay make it smaller okay it bigger you can control your brush size by pressing third bracket opening and closing just brush over there don't brush too much and okay that's good after that go to the blending mode make it overlay and this one is overexposed that's why I feel will just give reduce the opacity okay now this one is a sober okay in this portion I'll go to the adjustment layer and level from the level options I'll just mask this one only and adjust the eye color yeah that's good the eyes aqua eyes actually and this one also go to the adjustment and the level also make it mask and adjust the white portion of the eyes yes that's good okay and just make it group this one is for the eyes okay you are getting nice um, fill and after that select all the layers make it group make it march now i'll do color correction of this model go to the filter and then the camera filter 
from the camera filter uh, I'll add some exposure a little bit not too much I'll reduce the highlight add some shadow like that and I'm directly going to the HSL and the luminance of orange color I will increase the saturation of orange color I'll decrease I'll add the red color for the lips increase the saturation of red and reduce the saturation luminance of red a nice nice effect you will get nice uh, just a glossy effect on the face okay after that go to the hue and change the red color like that just pinkish and from the aqua saturation of aqua increase and luminance of aqua increase okay that's good it's nice actually we are getting a nice color okay from the effects and add some just a little bit the amount of vignetting just like that okay that's good and from the white portion you will just give, give some reduce the black now from the deal or sharpening amount amount of sharpening increase and add some luminance of noise reducer hit the ok button okay we have done or and apply many things but uh, what was the previous one this one is the previous one uh, the non edited photo or unedited photo you are getting this image or effect like that and after that go to the adjustment layer go to the color lookup from the color lookup horror blue color you can apply this one and reduce the opacity just a little bit 10 or 11 okay select these two layers make it group make it merge and after that go to the filter and need collection color effects pro from the color effects pro 4 i'll apply some effects for this image otherwise uh, it would be like a dull or other things if you apply um, the effects from the color fix pro you'll get a shiny look or a nice look actually okay it's loading uh, it's taking time so okay okay after that i'm using the cross processing and here is lots of filter you can use filter from here any kind of filter you can use I think this one is good the shiny look of a model and you can control the strength of the uh, filter and hit the ok button okay it's loading again okay you are getting a nice look let's see what was the previous one this one is the previous and after it, this one you are getting a uh, total solution of skin retouching okay and from the level adjustment layer from the level I'll little bit down the okay this one okay a little bit slightly okay that's good and select three, these three things make it group make it march okay let's see what was the previous one the non edited image and after edit this one you are getting this type of image so i hope that uh, you have just learned a lot from here you can edit your model photographs like that and uh, hope that uh, you will get uh, amazing output from these tutorials so don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have any kind of question or query please do comment in my video comment section don't forget to share with your friend and i'm asmr signing out today till the next video bye bye